Hey Divination, welcome to our brand new mini-series, 5 Impressive Gallery Layouts and How to Use Them. Galleries are one of the most important web design tools today, so whether you are a photographer, graphic designer or a business owner that wants to showcase their portfolio, the DV Gallery module does a very good job of that. The goal of this mini-series and all our mini-series is to provide you with free, fun and practical web design exercises that will improve your mastery of the DV WordPress theme one day at a time. So this is the final design we'll be working towards in this quick tip. So as you can see, our gallery is covering the whole page. And also we have a cool little trick here. When you put our mouse over any of these images, there's this gray overlay. So this is covered again in this tutorial. And finally, we also have this um, uh, magnify icon. When you click on it, it shows the actual image. And then when you click on the image, it cycles through all the images. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how we managed to uh, pull this together. So before we get started, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that we have a few elements in place. And these are the CSS code, which I'll link in the show notes below. The next thing you're going to need are images. Now, what we did is in this tutorial, we used images from a website called unsplash.com because uh, if you just grab any images on the internet, uh, you will have some copyright issues. So uh, when you go to unsplash.com, just download the images that you need and these will be uh, sufficient in creating your gallery. Okay, so now that the uh, elements are out of the way, uh, let's dive in. Let me show you how to create this. Right, so the first thing you need to do is to make sure you're in your um, admin dashboard of your WordPress uh, website. And then you need to create a new page. So I'm going to go to Pages, Add New. And um, let's call this page GL1. I'm going to click on Use the Divi Builder and then Use the Visual Builder. So here in my visual builder, the first thing I want to do here is to add a um, row. So we're going to need a single row and we're also going to need the gallery. So I'm going to click on gallery as our module. So uh, here we can see that uh, we don't have our images yet, but we're going to come back and fix that. So we're going to go ahead and save this because we need to make some changes to the row settings. So I'm going to click uh, on the gear icon here on the row settings and I'm going to make sure that I want to make this full width and then use gutter width. I'm going to select yes and then we need to enter zero. So this means all our images won't leave a space between them. Okay, so once we're done with that, that's pretty cool. There's only one more thing we need to do. We need to make sure that keep mobile padding on mobile is set to yes. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and save. Right, now it's time to go into the gallery module settings. So I'm going to uh, click on this gear icon of the gallery module. Now we need to make sure that we click on update gallery. Now this enables us to pull in all the images that we need to use in this gallery. So I've already uploaded my images ahead of time. And by the way, when you upload these images, make sure they're well optimized. So I use a program called uh, Photoshop uh, so I can resize them and make sure they're all the same size. Because what happens is if you use the images straight from your camera, it will take a very long time for your website to load. So it's always a good idea to make sure you optimize your images. All right, so let's go ahead and add all these images to our gallery. So I'm just going to go ahead and just select them. So we're going to start off with 12 images. Okay, so once you've, uh, once you've selected your 12 images, go ahead and click on Add to Gallery. Right, so we have all our images in there. So we need to go to Layout and just make sure that it's set to Grid. And then on the Images number, we need to make sure it's 12 because those are the 12 that we selected. Now we can see that the titles and the captions are all set to On. So we need to make sure that we disable this because this is going to clutter our design. So I'm just going to set this to No and then uh, Show uh, Pagination. I'm going to set that to No as well. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we need to go into the uh, design settings. So here, we need to make sure that the icon color is set to white. Now, the reason why we need to do that is because when we hover over the image, uh, then uh, it really stands out because on the hover color overlay here, we need to uh, add a slightly uh, transparent color, a transparent gray. 
So I'm just going to paste my color in here. So that's the color I need for the overlay. So you can see here, there's a bit of transparency on it. And if you want to see a preview, you can just go over to any of these images and then you can see that um, it is transparent. Right, so the next thing we're going to need here is the, uh, the icon. So I'm going to click on the zoom uh, icon because that's what we need. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. So now that we have everything in place, the final thing is to add the CSS code. Now, the reason why we need to add the CSS code is, I'll just show you briefly. If I click once on this image, you can see here that it has the title of the image. So it, it may be something that you don't want. Now, personally, I don't like um, the name to show up here. So to get rid of that, all you have to do is to add some CSS code. Now, there's two ways to add the CSS code. The first way is to add it in the theme options. Now, when you add the CSS code in the theme options, it applies that effect throughout the whole website. But in this case, we don't need to do that because we just need the CSS code to be applied to this particular page. So to, to do that, all you need to do is to come all the way down here to the expand settings and then click on the gear icon because this gives us the ability to add the CSS code to this page. So I'm gonna click on CSS and then I'm gonna paste the code. So before I save, I just want to show you that um, it's made a difference. So if I click once now, we can see here that the, uh, the name of this image is not showing. Okay, so I'm going to uh, close this and then go ahead and save. Now, you may see that we have gaps here on these images. Don't worry about that because once we save this, all these gaps are going to disappear. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. And then I'm going to exit the visual builder. And now we can see that our gallery doesn't have all the spaces that we we're seeing while we're designing it. Okay, so this is looking pretty cool. You can test this by clicking the, the icon. And um, as I mentioned right in the beginning of the video, if you click anywhere on the image, it just cycles through all the images on this gallery. So that does it for this quick tip. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.